Well, here's the new dishwasher. Packing looks pretty good. So here's the dishwasher installed. Um, overall, Bosch makes a pretty damn good item. They um, include just about everything you need. The only thing they didn't include, and they said they did, was um, four screws to install a little um, junction box for your power. Um, they didn't have those, but no big deal. Um, uh, this model I forgot to mention is the the SHE eight ER. 55UC. Um, uh, it's the right now the second uh, best one from Bosch in the 800 series. I bought this at Sears uh, uh, for $1,800. Normally it's $2,000, so this is definitely a high end uh, dishwasher. Just to mention that this is my third dishwasher in this house. Uh, the first dishwasher we bought was a Kenmore. Just a uh, kind of uh, $800, $700 model, plastic tub, lasted for about 10 years, um, probably had to replace about three uh, silverware baskets. Um, the tub, they had the heating coil inside and uh, the tub kind of melted through. Um, uh, I patched it a couple times and uh, Anyhow, a year and a half ago it was time to get some new appliances, so we decided to get a new fridge, stove, and dishwasher. Went with the stainless steel look, and uh, I decided on Electrolux at that time. Uh, Bosch at that time got fairly decent reviews. Um, a couple complaints with uh, the plastics not drying. Uh, Electrolux used a bit more water, a few more rinses and whatnot, so I thought, no, oh, can't go wrong with extra water. Decided to go that route. Uh, <laughs> definitely was a, a nice dishwasher to start with. Uh, basket uh, broke in about six months. Probably not even actually. I phoned Electrolux up and they go, Oh, the warranty on the basket's only for 90 days. So I had to buy another basket. It cost me $70. Um, 13 months into it, it uh, started leaking water out of the door seal. Phoned Electrolux up and uh, they said uh, that uh, that was only good for a year. I um, uh, went on the web there and uh, everybody was having that issue by the looks of it. And uh, they, they changed the seal door. Didn't offer to people that bought the dishwasher a year before that. but uh, So I bought that. That was another $70 or so. Replaced that. And two months after that it started making a grinding noise. It was a real quiet machine, i got to admit. That's the only complaint I have with this right now. It says it's 40 decibels. My Electrolux was 45 decibels. It was quieter. I don't know. Um, uh, it's not an issue. I'll fire this up later. We've we'll, uh, got some dirty dishes here we'll throw in and uh, fire it up and we'll put a sound. I wish I had a decibel meter. Maybe I'll see if I can find one. I'm going to take it out. There is an insulation on top of this that when I put it in, it might have got buckled up. I, it definitely uh, sprays harder than Electrolux. You, you, um, uh, all the plastic cups we had in last night, we ran a, one load through it. They were all upside down. We're going to have to use these little uh, clips here. I'm not too fond of them because, you know, where they contact, chances are that's not going to get clean. But you can see it anyhow. But uh, I guess spraying harder is probably not a bad thing. Um, Dishes came out pretty clean, pretty happy. Uh, glasses are pretty shiny. Yep, um, you know, a little bit of water there on the plastic. But like I say, some cups were upside down here, so there was quite a bit of moisture. The one complaint, I'm going to have to phone Bosch up, and this was a complaint I had with Electrolux too, is I, when I opened it up this morning, there is tons of water around the door here. It obviously leaks some uh, steam out and got all condensation, but lots of water. I had a little bit of water on the on the floor. Definitely, uh, 
an issue with that seal also. It's kind of funny, um, uh, two IN machines, my last two IN machines, they're leaking water out of the, the door seal. I don't know what's going on there. Anyhow, I'll give Bosch a call, um, uh, see what they have to say. Uh, other than that, uh, one complaint I have, it's not really a complaint, but um, I'll just uh, get the camera here. When you install these, uh, you can see it in here. This junction box here, um, uh, the cable coming out. This cable here coming out, there's a plug on the back end of the dishwasher that you plug it into. Um, uh, this, that adapter there went on that end and I guess you're supposed to have a receptacle inside your cabinet and you plug it in. They, they do mention you can do what I did which was take your uh, wire and hardwire it into that junction box but the old system used to have that wire come to the front of your dishwasher and you just hardwired it into the front of the dishwasher through the little junction box they have, but this kind of setup makes you uh, put this junction box in your box. Also, there's this gizmo on your uh, intake line. Now, it's fairly, fairly big. I, I believe it's a valve. I'm pretty sure that's what it is and it stops the water um, I don't know if it stops the water when the dishwasher is off or if there's just a leak. So, um, uh, if it's just when a leak, I guess that's a good thing, but I think it should probably shut it off when there's no water or when the dishwasher is not running. That way you don't have pressure in that line all the time. But the only downside to that is you have to cut a fairly big hole in your cabinet and, uh, yeah, they do um, uh, supply that little short connector from your normal uh, your shutoff valve, and uh, then it has a bigger end to, to screw into that gizmo. Also, what's interesting too is their uh, their outlet for their the the drain. Um, takes two sizes. Um, the old ones were a small, I don't know, that's three eighths or half inch, but you can also do a bigger one. I don't know if it's really necessary. I, I just put, they give you a little insert there, so if you got the small one, you can put the insert in and go to small, and that's what I've done. But I guess if you got a, a bigger connector, you can do that and uh, probably have it drain a little quicker, which I don't think is a big deal anyhow. But. So one thing I wouldn't mind Bosch doing is uh, making the power cord a bit longer. That's about as much slack as you get. It's probably about two feet long. And uh, to plug it into the back of the dishwasher, when you put it in, you pretty well have to reach your hand behind it and uh, put it in. Taking it out might be a little bit of a chore. Um, you can't really see what you're doing because it's all enclosed, right? Um, uh, plus it was longer, you wouldn't have to have this box right next to the opening. The kick plate, they, they have a pretty neat feature on this model. Um, let's see if I can get it down here. So this kick plate, you can set it to wherever you want it, like uh, right now. Because it comes in and out. So that's pretty cool. So this one here, I haven't blocked up. I'll just, uh, one of the down falls of this though is there pull it open so it has these uh these brackets that you can move in and out but uh there is pretty flimsy and uh i didn't even really get this tight and she's not tightening it up anymore the threads are too uh too far apart on the screws. I'll have to see if I can get some finer threads. 
screws with finer threads on them, see if it'll tighten up a little better. It's not a big issue, but still they won't tighten up very well. So you have that to move in and out to match up with your other kick plates, and then you have this rubber here that I guess prevents from sound. But uh, and then you got your normal kick plate that every dishwasher has. Yeah. So I'll um, uh, yard this out, have a look at the insulation on top and see if that's uh, moved at all. And uh, if it hasn't, um, uh, I guess I'll be uh, just dealing with a little bit of extra noise. Um, uh, it's not bad, just splashes around quite a bit. So, um, uh, yeah, you know, if it cleans the dishes well and uh, it does a fairly decent job that way, I'll be happy with it. The only thing I'm kind of disappointed if it is louder than 40 decibels, don't put that on the dishwasher. You definitely can hear this. It's not like it's whisper quiet. All right, so um, uh, after I yard it out, I'll put it back in. Probably give Bosch a call. See what they have to say about my leaky door seal. And um, uh, we'll throw a load of dishes in and um, uh, we'll go from there. Well, so here's the dishwasher, you heard it out. Top still looks pretty good, so obviously it wasn't that that made it loud. One thing I wanted to point out is these little brackets here. I'm not really sure why, uh, why Bosch didn't put screws right here. These just push down into this. The first time I installed this I was going by the instructions and these little black strips on the side they um uh, they're not in the instructions they're 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 on a little pamphlet that I didn't catch anyhow to install them and you gotta slide them down slide them down through the top here and I had these already on so I had to take them out and uh, I don't know if you can see it or not but the plastic kind of tore up and I don't know you think they would have put a screw in there rather than just push on down into the plastic kind of a, you know for all the other quality stuff they've done, why do that? You know, that isn't going to last very long if you have got it. You probably never have to yard that out again, but still. Anyhow, put her back in. We'll uh, run a load through her empty just to see the sound, and then we'll load her up and, uh, and run it again and uh, listen to it, see if it's any louder. Another thing that I thought was really well done was your feet uh, these ones here you can if you want you can just throw a screwdriver in and and turn them that way and then go to the next one I don't know how long they would last doing this it's just plastic so eventually you're gonna wear it out but you could put a wrench on there if you want But another real neat feature is this one's put a screwdriver or a socket in there and turn it and it raises the back feet, which uh, I thought was very genius. Never thought of that. E plus. It's all back together. We'll just uh, turn it on here and, and um, uh, Kind of sounds weird when you first hit it. But, uh, sounds like something's moving around in there. But just go over some features here. Um, to, uh, this has a salt uh, dispenser for softening your water. Um, to get to it, it's kind of uh, awkward, I guess. You once you do it a few times, you'll 
you'll figure it out. Maybe memorize it. I don't know if I have to keep going back to the manual, but you hold down the normal button. They call it the A button, but it's normal. And then you hit start. Same time you get this H. I got it set to three. Um, uh, our water is, I don't know if you want to call that hard, but I think it's around 10 dH. They give you a little test strip in the thing. That's one thing I got to commend uh, Bosch. They seem to, um, you know, provide you with everything you need. Um, you cycle through these, you hit this, uh, the glass carrier, I think they call that button, see I can't remember. Oh, that's to increase it, sorry. So back to three, cycle through them. Ah, so not really sure what that is. R is for the rinse agent, I got it set to four. Um, you can look in the manual what that is. There's a few things, um, uh, uh, yeah, so D and P. I think one's how it turns off, uh, one's a delay, I think that's P. Um, uh, there's three settings if you want the thing to stay on after it's done doing the dishes or it turns the, the power off or something like that. Anyway. So, uh, so then you have your heavy auto. We'll put it on heavy. Two hours and 15 minutes. This model compared to the, this is the, the SHE8. And there's a, the lower model SHE7. Um, I don't know if you can see it on here. But uh, this one right here, it's selling for 1550 on Sears. Regular price is, uh, it doesn't say, there's $250 off, so approximately $1,800 regular price. Um, uh, the difference. I originally ordered this one because I didn't think there was much difference and then I got looking on the Bosch site and um, this one has an extra wash. So increases the temperature and gives you a bit more wash, another wash cycle and I thought that might be a good feature if your dishes are really soiled. So we'll put that on extra wash, that adds another, what is that, 25, 25 minutes extra, so 2 hours and 40 minutes, so we're getting up there. Um, you could do a sanitize, adds another uh, 10 minutes to that. So we're almost up to three hours now. Okay, there's half loads and all that, you can see that on the, the site. So I guess if you only got half your dishes, you can do a half load. We'll start her up. Okay, the camera's positioned about five feet away. Not sure if it's necessary, but it probably doesn't hurt. You're supposed to run your hot water first to get the water hot. That's entering into your dishwasher. I believe Bosch heats the water anyhow, so I think in the instructions it doesn't really tell you to do that. I know my Electrolux it did. It made a difference. That noise you hear right now is just a piece of equipment going by my house. Street cleaner or something, I don't know.
So far the dishwasher is pretty quiet. So right now, it's really quiet. I can barely even hear it. Um, oh, we're picking up now. My fridge is going on right now, so, but. So yeah, um, it's probably a little bit quieter than it was last night with the dishes in. Not sure initially when it was really quiet, it might have been heating the water up because I hadn't ran my uh, hot water. So, uh, so it might have took a couple minutes there to heat the water. That's something I wouldn't mind uh, companies uh, doing in their instruction manual is uh, to tell you all the, the features of the dishwasher if you want to learn about it, exactly what it's doing. But. I guess most people don't care, as long as it cleans the dishes. So as you can tell, it's not whisper quiet. Um, uh, you do hear it. I'm not sure, because uh, the best model right now is supposed to be rated at 39 decibels. This one's 40. Can't seem to be in much difference. Um, you definitely know it's on. It's uh, not as quiet as uh, they make you believe it is. But at the same time, um, getting back, uh, the the old dish route, the Kenmore we originally bought, it was really loud. Um, you know, most people know what a loud dishwasher is. You, you don't even want to really have it on with people in the room. That's kind of why I went high end, just to get that quiet down. And uh, I have to admit, the dishes do come out cleaner with the higher end dishwashers, the Electrolux did a pretty good job, um, can't complain, I thought it was the best dishwasher I've ever had doing dishes, but this one is probably even better. So you do get cleaner dishes with the higher end ones, um, uh, plus they are a bit quieter. Uh, you know, I can't complain about the noise on this, um, uh, I was expecting it, because my Electrolux was 45 decibels, I was expecting this not even to hear it, but uh, it almost seems louder to me than the Electrolux. So. All right, so, now it's draining now. Just see how long it takes to fill up here. Um, uh, that was quick drain, so I don't think it uses much water. Very little water. You know, my Electrolux probably drained for for a minute or so. Okay, now we'll put some dishes in. Um, we've got a knife here still. We'll run that through. This one has the. Uh, the tree on top for your cutlery. Got some uh, 
All right, dirty uh, dishes here. This Okay, like I say, that's uh, porridge from this morning. Um, uh, the place settings are really tight in here. You can get lots of plates in. Um, uh, last night, plate ketchup and oil still on it. So I More porridge from this morning. Catch up from last night. Probably take me a few loads here to figure out what the best way to do this is. I see it has a back. Fold down, I guess that's if you want to put some glasses or something on that. I don't know. Really nice dirty plate. The cutlery basket is definitely going to hold quite a bit more and they also provide you with, I haven't taken the spoons and knives, but a, another basket you can put you know, anywhere you want in there. We won't use that right now. And that fits pretty easy. Um, uh, I'll probably hit the side there. So. There, I guess. I'll even throw some plates behind it and see how they come out. That one's a little ketchup y. Got a fairly long cup that's probably six inches with the coffee in it. You can raise and lower this if you want. I, don't know, I never really looked to see how easy it is, but I'm sure it's fine. Just push her in. Fairly simple. Not sure where the. I'll probably just keep it at that level. I'm not a big fan of raising and lowering stuff. Doesn't fit up there, goes down below. Lots of different uh, seat, well, these easy you can fold down, so. But, uh, hmm. Like I say, I may do another video here in a few months and find out how the best cycle to use whether it's normal or it's one thing when we did them last night these little plastic cups they got tossed around pretty good and they ended up upside down full of water um, I guess it sprays pretty hard so not sure what the best way to put those in is we have these little plastic clips they provide. You could uh, hold them down with it. See how they go on. So that, I guess I could throw them in there like that. One thing I don't like doing about those is where the plastic piece hits, it's not going to get clean under there. I don't care what you see. But I don't know what else to do. I wonder if person... It must be for a knife or something. It doesn't seem to want to fold flat.
Boy, they got lots of slots here. You can put quite a bit in there, I'll tell you. I take it this is for your big knives and stuff. Let's see. That works. Nearly. Ooh, I like that too much. Hmm. It take me a while to figure all this out. The best way to do this. Normally I'd uh, just take a scrub brush and get that hard crusty stuff off there, but I'm just going to leave it like that, see if it gets clean. Put her to the test. Thank you. 
Okay. Um, last night I filled the rinse agent with this finished jet dry. We like using these finished, not the quantums, but just the cheap ones with the little pink balls. Now she's kicked in. So I think it sprays pretty hard. You hear lots of spraying in there. Turn to hear a few dishes banging around in there. Okay, hmm. here we are. Um, uh, just a couple minutes. Uh, I'm not even sure what that is on the dishwasher because uh, after an hour, when there was about 60 minutes left on the dishwasher, I put my timer on and I still got 15 minutes on my timer, but the dishwasher is only saying two minutes. So, yeah, so it's not quite the time it says on the dishwasher. It's a little faster by the looks of it. One thing I noticed, not too cool though, is this little puddle of water down there. Well, I'll have to give Bosch a call and uh, see what they say. Um, uh, yeah, not too impressed about that. That was uh, not expecting from uh, what I heard about these dishwashers. But uh, showing a minute left there. And uh, once that's done, we'll open it up and take a look. Okay, so it's all done. We'll open up. Oh yeah, lots of moisture there. I'll just zoom in on that. So, not too happy with that. Anyhow, we'll uh, take a look at the dishes and see what they look like. One thing I have to say is the sound is definitely tolerable. I was watching uh, TV with no problems at all. And uh, everything looks really clean. Like, uh, yep. Yeah. Crystal clear. Awesome. Bosch is definitely doing something right. Same thing, the plastic stuff that doesn't get fastened down seems to get flown around pretty good. That's nice and clean. That wasn't my dirty one, but that's clean. That was souping that this morning. Sparkling clean. This uh, tall coffee here is all uh, cleaned out. Better than I've ever seen it with any other dishwasher that we've had. This is uh, it's one thing I noticed too. I was mentioning the plastic. You know, I'm not fond of that because where it touches, it's not going to get clean, but it's not really that tight. So, I don't know, maybe water will get behind that and move it around a bit. 
See the cutlery tray here? A little bit of water pool in there. But I guess I probably didn't have those in right. I don't know. But everything looks clean. Uh, this is behind this. Yep. Now the real test. This pot that I normally would have scrubbed. Wow. Nothing. Awesome. Definitely the best dishwasher I've seen that uh, clean dishes. Um, Bosch has done a remarkable job. Just got to get the seal fixed and uh, we'll be laughing. Yeah, I just got off the phone with Bosch. Um, um, actually, she was pretty helpful. Um, she figures that uh, the only way I'm getting condensation around the door is if the condensation vent is blocked, which it isn't. So, I don't know. She gave me a, a number to phone here in town, and um, I actually phoned them. And they told me since I bought it through Sears, I had to phone Sears customer uh, service. And uh, Sears would get back to them, and then they would phone me back and set up an appointment. Um, uh, the unfortunate with that is Sears told me um, uh, it would take probably 48 hours for them to uh, send a person out, or for them to get back to the company. So I won't probably hear them for a couple of days. I guess that's one of the downfalls of buying through Sears. Um, uh, other than that, uh, Bosch customer service sounded pretty reasonable. Um, basically, they would cover it as long as I didn't do anything wrong in the installation process, which I can't see anything that i done would cause a door to... Well, it looks to me like it's not getting, it's not relieving any event and under the condensation vent. Okay, so earlier on, um, um, I got a phone call from the service department here saying they booked appointment for uh, today's Friday and they booked it for Monday. Um, uh, so Sears wasn't that long. It was only a couple hours. Uh, another thing too is I ran another load through it this afternoon and uh, headed on just auto rather than heavy. And there's no water build up around, no condensation build up around the door. So, uh, very little if there was. Um, so what I'm going to do now is uh, run our supper dishes through. Today we kind of had uh, some Chinese food, so to speak, with uh, like battered pork. And uh, I purposely left the flour or the batter mix kind of dry on this bowl and I'm going to Throw it in like that and see if it gets clean on just the auto setting. And uh, be pretty happy if that's the case. There's a couple things here I just want to point out. Normally, even on our Electrolux, this uh, the top rack here, when you raise and lower it, it has to match up with the, your water um, port on the back. Um, what Bosch has done is uh, there's five, there's your inlet and then they have four other plugs and they plug off the three, the two holes you don't use in the back. Um, so there's no way water can leak out of those holes that aren't being used, which I thought was a real neat idea. Um, uh, definitely better than the other ones that we had. Um, also, I didn't show this earlier, but uh, the filter system, pretty easy to take in and out. And it's a real fine filter. Um, uh, so I guess it traps anything bigger than probably that, which is pretty small. And very easy to take in and out. Put back in. So I'll load it with our supper dishes and turn it on auto and uh, see if they come clean on the auto setting. Um, maybe I didn't have to get the, the one with the extra wash, I don't know. We'll find out. Okay, so um, uh, dishes are done. We'll set on automatic. Let's have a look. 
A little bit of condensation, not too much though. Seems like in this one spot. Now, if the dishes are really clean, I'm going to be shocked because there is things in here. I have rice that was dried on to spoons that I've yet to see ever come clean if you don't take it off. Yeah, there's a little bit left on this. That was just kind of sitting on the rack here though, so let's take a look. The rice was cooked in this and it's pretty well spotless. That's pretty good. Whoops. Stuff falling in here from the top. Yeah, nice and clean. Kind of set up. This is a little different. Try to. Hot. That's still kind of a, it's not bad, but looks like some particles might be in there still. Yeah. A little bit of stuff on there, but uh, I didn't rinse anything off, I just kind of threw it all in here. That I had taken this was a bowl that the batter was in and it's clean. So um <laughs> looks like you don't even really have to rinse things off to me anyhow. You know. Pretty amazing and that's on auto. So I don't know if a person put this on heavy if it would even have took the, the junk off this spoon sitting on top of this rack here where it's not getting sprayed very much. But for the most part, that was just covered with rice and stuff. No, oh, that didn't come clean. Mm. Yeah. All in all, though, that uh, did a pretty good job. Play around with some settings and uh, a bit more. There's a normal setting. I'm not sure which one's better, automatic or normal. I imagine automatic is supposed to cycle a little bit heavier if the dishes are dirty. All in all, very nice dishwasher. I just wish it didn't leak. So the prices I had were uh, Canadian prices, by the way. Um, I did go online, and the same machine in the States, uh, this Buy Right Appliances, was uh, $1,487. They say free shipping and no sales tax. Um, they had a few other, that's why I went on that, because they had um, uh, my old Electrolux. It's showing for uh, $1,200 there, so basically $250 cheaper, which I do not recommend that dishwasher. Um, KitchenAid, I heard KitchenAid is a pretty good brand. Uh, this is their top model, selling for uh, $1,350 basically. But at the same time, I am... Uh, went online a web a form and this guy had a KitchenAid a KUDE 60 series and this is about a year ago May 11th 2011 uh, today's date is uh, June the 16th uh, 2012 anyhow it says uh, he has a KitchenAid and uh, he likes it. It cleans beautifully, it's quiet, everything I wanted in a dishwasher. Um, the only problem is there's a vent on the top left side of the door. So on this one it would be great in there. And I guess it gets his cabinets all wet on the side. Not very good. 
Um, uh, so he's wondering about whether to go, I don't know how to pronounce this, uh, Mealy or Mealy or any or Bosch. Uh, he says KitchenAid has everything I want except for the stupid vent. <clears throat> Anyhow, this guy uh, replies that uh, quality of Bosch has gone downhill lately, but are still pretty decent units. Their top the line units made in Germany is top notch. Uh, none of the Euro models have heat heat dry. Uh, that said, plastics don't come out as wet as people make out around the web. Anything that has lots of ridges to trap water is a little mass or and little mass is not going to be completely dry even in a domestic model with heated with heated dry so um, yeah it's you know it seems to dry the dishes not bad um, uh, I can't complain also if you use the sanitized mode it's supposed to um, dry them even better but uh, I'm not sure if that's what's causing my condensation around the door I still have to do a few more dishes to find out he says, I get the melee if you can handle the cabinetry adjustments. Uh, I'm not sure if that's really an issue. So this guy, he, um, uh, I guess he talked to KitchenAid and they told him that, uh, I don't know if you can see that, but the vents are on the side there. These are his cabinets. So um, uh, they responded, I'm sorry to hear that your new dishwasher is causing you some concern. The unit does vent out the side of the door. The plant should not be pushed all the way back into the cabinetry. And then this guy, he's like, well, isn't it supposed to be fully integrated? So they want the door to be sticking out, which doesn't make sense. Your controls are being, yeah. No, kitchen aid's just trying to put up an excuse. So it sounds like KitchenAids aren't the greatest either. Um, this guy sells appliances. I don't know if his... Anyhow, he says, I vote for the Bosch. Uh, he gives a model number here, which is basically, I think this is last year's model number, and it's the same as the next one down. So this is an SHE8. And the one he recommended with the SHE7. Um, uh, <laughs> one thing, and I've read it, it says Infolite uh, shines a red light indicator on your floor. So they have the ones with just the bar handle, they don't have any of this. So you don't know if it's running or not, supposedly. He says, uh, So the Infolite shines a red light indicator on your floor while the cycle is running. 45 decibels. So it's very quiet and hard to tell it's running. No. You hear the water splashing around, even though it's not bad. Um, it is quiet enough that I wouldn't complain about it. So this guy talks about the Miele, um, uh This one model, it's pretty expensive. It's like $2,500. I guess um, uh, what it does, there's a condensation dry mode and then it pops a door open to vent any moisture out of the top after the the dishwasher is done doing the dishes. Hmm. I guess. This guy, uh, he's a general contractor and he says, I'm sure you'll be happy with the Bosch. Although if you want the best, Melee is really the correct choice. So my feeling is right now I don't know how much cleaner you can get a dishwasher than what the Bosch, like doing the dishes, than what the Bosch does. It does a remarkable job. This guy mentioned that <clears throat> kind of too. It says you will not find melee in the price range of the Bosch. This is that is a midline Bosch, which is not a bad thing. He says the low lines Bosch are not overly great machines. No, not sure. The high-end products are nice, but I cannot see why anyone would buy it over a Mele or Mele or whatever you call it. Um, I'm not sure why he says that. I'm sure the, the Mele ones are the same price, if not more, by the sounds of it. And uh, 
I'm pretty happy with this right now other than the little bit of moisture I'm getting which I'm sure is going to get fixed uh, it's another thing too is um, uh, it says uh, the midline gives you the best bang for your buck well annoying is with Bosch anyhow the midline ones didn't have the soft the salt in it for softening your water which nowadays there's no phosphate in the, the dish soap so your um, calcium magnesium might spot the glasses and they won't come out crystal and the salt gets rid of the calcium and the magnesium so um, you don't have that problem um, it's kind of why I went with the higher end Bosch unit rather than middle of the road even though I think I would have went with the higher end anyhow because just to make sure my dishes got clean. So this guy that's saying that uh, he would go for the Bosch midline units, he says I'm also a, used to be a former melee owner and did not switch to the Bosch because the melee was in any way bad. I just got it for about half the price. So. So the guy ends up getting the Bosch unit. He's quite happy with it, run two loads and has had absolutely no issue. It cleans wonderfully, it's quiet, even though it's technically smaller than the, his KitchenAid. That's one thing he didn't like about it to start with. He, he figured he wouldn't be able to do as many dishes, but um, uh, he's had no issues fitting anything in now, he says. And that's one thing I noticed too, is uh, there is lots of, these ties are really close, like boy one. So you could fit 21 plates just on the back here and then another probably, you know, that's a lot, 21, well. Wow. Okay, one thing I found too, I'm uh, a rack raising the lower of this upper rack is uh, best done if you uh, push these in and just drops <clears throat> and then if you want the middle one you can raise one side until you hear click and do the other side until you hear click I find that's the easiest one right up um, uh, also have it right down and you can take the cutlery tree out this allows you to uh, put full-size plates in here and it fits so you got plates on the top plates on the bottom I'm not sure why you'd have so many plates but I guess if you had pots in the bottom, you can put plates on top. Um, uh, <clears throat> I believe there's a, it's variable spray. I believe the spray up on top isn't quite as strong as the spray on the bottom. So <clears throat> it's just to be a little bit easier on the glasses. It doesn't blow away the plastic cups as easily, I guess, even though they seem to get tossed around quite a bit. Um, yeah, the, these come out too if you don't want them in there, fairly easy. There's just a couple uh, notches there for the rollers. Just pretty easy to put back in and out. Tray goes on pretty easy again. Um, <clears throat> your uh, soap dispenser actually when it drops it drops into this little slot here and it's supposed to dissolve the soap better I guess the 
this closed really easy. You don't even have to push on it. Now I'm kind of wondering if that's why my my seal might be uh, leaking a little bit of moisture. It's just not closing tight enough on that. Now I don't know whether the door can be adjusted. We'll wait for the service technician to figure that one out. Like I say, it seems to be not when I just uh, the other night there I had it on heavy and an extra wash and there was no moisture when I woke up this morning. Um, uh, that's another thing too is uh, every time I uh, seem to do a load of dishes I'm more shocked. Um, I put our, our deep fryer container in there and we did uh, like deep fried pork with the batter and you get all that burnt you know, chunks of batter. Anyhow, I, I just threw it in there. I thought, no, well, let's see if it comes clean. I didn't think it would, but it did. Um, with it on heavy and an extra wash, I didn't do the sanitize. And when I woke up this morning, there was no condensation around the door, so maybe it's getting better. I'll try the heavy extra wash and sanitize again and see if I get the condensation. Maybe it just had to break itself in. Um, uh, Okay, this guy's uh, also uh, had a KitchenAid for six years and um, he says, now after your post I finally figured out why my cabinet drawers are sagging. I always thought it was from the weight of my dishes, but now I realize it is from constant steaming it was getting from the dishwasher. Oh well, we'll learn the next time for sure. I checked the vents on the dishwasher, thanks for posting. Another guy here says his uh, cabinets are wet, not had it. So I guess that's a fault with KitchenAid dishwashers. They, uh, they vent out the side and get your cabinets all wet. And it doesn't sound like a very good dishwasher to me either. That's one of the reasons I'm doing this review is because, uh, you know, I, in the last two years I spent now $3,500, well, not quite, but over $3,000 on dishwasher two dishwashers. Hopefully this will last a bit longer than my Electrolux. Um, also the Electrolux I didn't mention but um, uh, I, the, the wheels on the bottom they detach and after one year they were melted and uh, that looks like it's going to be an ongoing thing because the parts I ordered were basically the same plastic and everything. Um, uh, so. And then it started making the noise there and uh, a couple weeks ago the top dishes wouldn't come clean so I said enough spending money on it to get a new one. Okay, hey, this morning there we had some uh, bacon and pancakes I made for the kids and see the bacon's a little crusty on the stainless steel frying pan. I'm just going to throw it in like that and uh, I wouldn't be surprised if it comes clean. Um, um, Originally, I wouldn't even do that with any other dishwasher, but so far, uh, I've been pretty impressed. Okay, I'll load the rest here and we'll turn it on. I'll put it on uh, heavy and an extra wash and do the sanitize and see if my door leaks and uh, have a look at that pan and uh, see if it's clean. Hey, just thought I'd uh, show the dishes in the dishwasher here. Like those spoons, I don't even rinse them anymore. I'm, uh, it does such a nice job without having to rinse. Why rinse? Um, uh, so I just kind of threw it together, plates up there, dish, yeah, I don't know. Get her all in there. All right, our load's done. My wife's in the background here chuckling away. But uh, all the glasses look clean. Really clean. Nothing wrong with them. In the moment of truth, my wife doesn't think this pan's gonna come clean. 
I tried to make her a bet that she'd have to be on video if it did, so let's take a look. She, she's, she can't believe it. That's pretty good. <laughs> How better can you get? Looks better than it was before it was even used. Never even thought to check, but there's no condensation on my door. I'm just kind of wondering if the, your condensation vent kind of has a loop in it, sort of like a, a drain pipe, like a S or whatever. And when we were transporting, there's always water in the dishwasher when they test it. And when, even when we were transporting, water was dripping out. I'm kind of wondering if water got in there and got trapped and now it's, uh, it's gone. It's evaporated or whatever and now it's letting the, the condensation vent through it. But uh, I guess I'll have to phone Webs back and cancel my uh, call. I'll do a few more on heavy and extra wash and sanitize and see if it leaks. It doesn't look like it's going to though, so well that's good. Okay, this uh, concludes this video. <clears throat> um, overall, very happy. Uh, I wish I bought this a uh, year and a half ago. Um, we'll see how long it lasts. I'll try to do a video every year. So next June I'll post another one and let you know if I'm still uh, happy with it. Um, some of the pluses uh, that I like about this compared to the other ones I've had in the past are this uh, kick plate. You know, you can move that in and out. So it's all flush and neat and tidy with your other kick plates. Um, so also, um, uh, what is a neat feature that I like is the adjustable rear legs. Um, before you'd have to adjust and try to slide your dishwasher back and it was always hard because you had the dishwasher, the back end of the dishwasher up in the air so it was fairly high up on the countertop you didn't want a big gap there and you didn't want it on level so but now you can uh, push it in low lift your uh, front legs up and then lift your back legs up to get it all nice and neat and goes in really easy um uh, whoever thought of that was uh, should be commended for sure um i would pay i don't know i don't know if i pay a hundred dollars extra for that but maybe it, it, uh, it definitely is uh, a nice uh, addition to it. This uh, this mechanism here that plugs up the other two holes you're not using. I think that's a pretty good feature on the wash. I'm not sure if any of the others have it. Uh, definitely the water softener for us. Anyhow, I don't know how many machines you like, whether it be. Uh, well, I, I think KitchenAid used to have one. I'm not sure if they still do. Um, I'm sure the Miele ones, uh, in fact, I know the Miele ones have it. Uh, it'd be nice if a person that owned a Miele would do their own video, but anyhow, I imagine they're probably uh, just as good, if not better, than the Bosch, but at the same time, I don't know how, how you can get much better as far as uh, cleaning the dishes. Um, uh, it's pretty impressive. Uh, even my wife uh, must admit to that. Um, I am shocked. I'm sure everybody would be that. I tried to get my sister up here, but just to see, because I'm pretty impressed. I thought she would be too, but she didn't want any part of it. So, anyhow, um, uh, yeah, uh, I didn't uh, mention, but you can get the same model with the bar on Bosch. I'm, I'm sure if you're buying a dishwasher, you probably would have, would have already seen that. Um, <clears throat> personally, I kind of like this layout. Everything's in front with the door closed. Our Electrolux just had the bar and you had to open the door up, push it, push the start, close it, and start. Matter of preference, I guess. Um, uh, I don't know, I just like to have everything in front. You don't have to worry about opening and closing the door. Well, that concludes this video. I hope it was very informative. Um, uh, I wish there was a video out when I bought my dishwasher so I could actually see. I'm sure uh, if I would have seen how well this cleaned, I would have bought it right off the bat. Um, 
some people may not want to spend a couple thousand dollars for a dishwasher, but uh, if it lasts, I don't know, 10 years even, to me it's worth it. Um, uh, chances are it'll probably last even longer. Um, and not having to scrub dishes, <laughs> that's pretty amazing also. Okay, I was just uh, editing all my uh, video clips and uh, I noticed that I didn't talk about the the D and the P on here. The P was actually the power thing, what I mentioned before, but the D is, um, it's either on or off, it's a drying mode. I'm not sure why they would even have that as an option. Um, it does add uh, a bit of time. Um, just show you here. So before we had it on, uh, heavy okay I think it's uh, activated right now so we had it on heavy extra wash and sanitize and I believe it was uh, two minutes and 50 uh, or two hours and 50 minutes now it's three hours and 15 minutes so with the, the drying time added so now it's an extra 25 minutes for that drying time so um, uh, let's, uh, so what it is is that's your uh, water softener and uh, that's your drying so right now it's set on and um, uh, you can change it to off so on and off I guess we'll just leave it on um, we just put a, a load through with it on heavy extra wash sanitize and the drying um, uh, Oh, by the way, um, uh, so and that's your power. Basically, that uh, if it's uh, that the power I think s stays on, and uh, that the power after the dishes are done, it turns it off after a minute, and uh, that turns it off after like two hours or something like that. I'm not sure why they um, for two hours. But. Well, let's have it turn off after a minute. Um, the drying, uh, there's a few complaints about people drying. I noticed on the videos when I opened it up, sometimes I took a dish out and water dropped off it. You guys might think it was kind of wet, but in actuality, most dishes were dry. And even if there was water on there, the water is pretty clean. So uh, to me, it's not really an issue. Um, I'll just take a look now in here and uh, see what that looks uh, like. So, you know, to me, uh, it didn't really do much, you know, that's still fairly wet. So, and that was with it on sanitizing and the intensive drying, so, you know, the plastics are still going to be a bit wet. No condensation though around the door, so I guess that's all fixed up. It must have been the condensation vent was plugged up or something. I'm not really sure. Oh, also, um, uh, the the it's called Mila, the brand of dishwasher that. They said is a little bit better than the Bosch. I'm, uh, I apologize if I offend anybody the way I said it before. I'm not about to edit all my videos and redo them. Um, uh, and I'm not, I'm not making fun of the company. Uh, you know, I'm just trying to do a review so people get informed about uh, the Bosch dishwasher. Uh, I'm pretty happy with it. Um, uh, so it's it's spelled M-I-E-L-E -E and it's spelled me la I guess. I went on YouTube and there's a whole bunch of people there that, you know, basically, so I guess they worked at the company and they put a video together. Anyhow, um, uh, that's about all I have to say.